How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute, but we are back with an Orbit Culture reaction. This is Fight of the... F Flight of the Fireflies. Poo. <laughs> we got that in the end. Uh, drop a like if you enjoy this reaction. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below of songs I should react to. Uh, I've been waiting to get back into some more Orbit Culture, so this is exciting. I'm hyped. Let's dive in. Holy shit! Ooh, a bit of symphony? Orchestral music? Just fucking sings, man. Such a blend of different things. Holy shit. I love that. so epic cinematic melodic and then they bring it down with like some really gut punching riffs this guy's got a terrific voice though nicholas i mean he's got that screamo thing but then he can blend that with melody, like, oh, it's so good. So good. Oh. Breakdown. Breakdown. Come on. We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Uh oh. I love 
that so much. Oh, oh, that was oh, fuck off, dude. Holy shit! Holy shit! That was that was epic. That was so epic for a lot of reasons. Like the 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 riff in the verse is very plain, very simple. It's just you know that chugs, just chugs. But the beat changes, the bass backs up, and then the screamo, like it carries that riff through. And then they get super melodic and super cinematic with the hook in the chorus. It, it, it just sings so well. It's like such a blend of styles, such a blend of genres even within metal, I mean. But like, it's just like, it, it's so good. These guys, I mean, I, I yeah, man, they have become one of my favorite bands. And I've only been listening to them for like a little over a month. And they've quickly become one of my favorite bands because I have not found a bad song. I mean, forget forget bad songs. There's no song that's like, eh. you know, there's, there's not one song where I've been like, yeah, that was good. All of these, every single one of these songs that I've listened to from them, and there's still so many more to go. Every single one of these songs I've listened to there's something about it, whether it's the riff, whether it's the melody, whether it's the song as a whole or the breakdown or like some aspect of each song has fucking hit and it hit different. I love that so much. Let's dive into some lyrics and see what this, what the story is, because this is part of the Shaman EP. So carrying forward that story, maybe of the like a sailor's tale was kind of like fighting the Kraken or fighting, I mean, in a lot of ways, I thought before I read some of the lyrics, I thought A Sailor's Tale was about Moby Dick, but no, no, it was a, quite literally about fighting the Kraken and an allegory for like fighting your demons, basically. But uh, let's see what fi fli Flight of the Fireflies is about. Flight of Fly of Fire... Anyway, let's go. Okay, so in destruction, the flight of fireflies, the birth of lost control, a cry in the night. Inside the dungeon, inside the waves of my head, waves, again, keeping to that, that metaphor of being in the, on the open sea, I guess. Inside the waves of my head, I try to grasp it, chasing what's in myself. So the birth of lost control, a cry in the night, the flight of fireflies, like they kind of spread out, right? They separated across the sky, basically like stars, even you could say. Um, the birth of lost control, right? This is the moment that he's lost control where the fireflies have all left. Inside the waves of his head, he tries to grasp it, chasing what's in myself. Now it happens and now I'm myself. It's coming down to the last second. The bridge is not safe, but it helps me to escape. And even my demon know things and join me. Mm. And who are, who are you to me? Life you took away and still the temptation. Know things and join me. By seduction, the toxic death arrives. The search for fireflies through mists in the night. Inside the temple, inside the shimmering light, I try to follow the lights in the sky. So he's using the fireflies as sort of a like a compass he's he can't see he's lost right he's lost control uh, whoever he's talking to about life you took away and still the temptation by seduction the toxic death arrives so i don't really know what he's going for there but the fireflies are his compass he wants to follow them through the mists in the night mists inside the temple inside the shimmering light the temple could be his head He's like another metaphor for his head inside the temple, right? I try to follow the lights in the sky to break the suffering. It's tainted. Life, it steals. In prison, in life's cell, you learn the way of the thorn. These are some creepy proverbs. In trial for living, it keeps us cold in the cloud. It's coming down to the last second. Okay, the chorus repeats. Am I alive? The taste of salt. Is this what you are? Anger. It pours down on me like hailstorms. Wait, am I alive? The taste of salt. That makes me think he's like washed up on the, the shore. He's lost at sea, maybe. He's lost at sea. And maybe this is he's talking to the beast, to the kraken. Right? He's talking to the kraken. Not necessarily having a conversation, but he's referring to the kraken after being lost. 
the Kraken destroyed the ship because in Sailor's Tale, the whole thing ended with the ship going down, buried at the bottom of the sea because of the Kraken, because the captain of the ship just couldn't let go, right? Um, by seduction, the toxic death arrived. So that makes me think he was kind of seduced to a, to a degree, seduced into doing this because the seduction, the, the, the draw of going after this creature that's the toxic death, right? He couldn't let it go and he kind of killed himself and his crew. So the search of fireflies through mists in the night, inside the temple, inside the shimmering light. I try to follow the lights in the sky. So he could be talking about actual fireflies or the stars in the sky that look like fireflies, right? To break the suffering, it's tainted life, it steals in prison, in life's cell. You learn the way of the thorn in trial for living. It keeps us all in the cloud. I don't really know what's happening in that verse, but am I alive? The taste of salt. Is this what you are? Anger. It pours down on me like hailstorms. So, could be an actual hailstorm or he's washed up on the shore of some island or some beach. The taste of salt. He's got salt water in his lungs, in his mouth, whatever, right? I'll see you again. The fallen, the fallen man. When we are alone, you can't disappear. The fallen, the fallen man, since you live inside of me. Wait, what? I'll see you again, the fallen, the fallen man, when we are alone. You can't disappear since you live inside of me? In destruction, the fight, flight of the fireflies, the birth of lost control. Okay, that repeats itself. I don't belong here. The doors are shut and I see hell. Is this like a couple of perspectives? Like this whole verse, I'll see you again, the fallen man, when we are alone, you can't disappear since you live inside of me. Is that the perspective of the Kraken? Like the Kraken is singing? Oh, not singing, but the Kraken is uh, monologuing? Interesting. I mean, there's a couple of ways to look at this song. I mean, maybe there's a metaphor buried deep in here, but I can't really find it. But I feel like the flight of fireflies could be actual fireflies or the stars in the night sky that sailors use to navigate, right? The sailors usually back before we had GPS, sailors would use the stars to navigate their way through the ocean. Maybe um, that could be what that is referring to. But uh, yeah, this was this is an awesome song. Very groovy, very heavy as shit. And that breakdown, mwah, so good. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of the reaction down in the comments below. And uh, that's going to do it for me. Like I said, drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.